Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Well, I'm here in my house, but so excited to be, you know, where. And um, it's a big honor. This, this past um, semester, I had the, the privilege to be part of a rage. I'm still not sure which part of rage I was part of because every day I got emails for Rage USA, Rage U with this, Rage U. I don't know. I never got the terms down pat, but whatever I was part of, it was a, it was a really, really wonderful opportunity. I really enjoyed it so much. I, I gained tremendous um, insights in, in, in learning about Judaism and about life itself. And to me, it was very impactful. And I hope everybody had a similar experience. And um, may we only continue to grow more and more past what we already know and realize that, that there's no end to learning about Judaism. There's no end to learning about yourself. Every single person, if you believe in God, believes that there's a part of God inside of them that's waiting to waiting to um to become the best version of yourself possible and the more you the more you grow the more you realize how special you are and there's no like oh i'm not good enough it's you are amazing every single person is amazing so i wrote a song once called uh, maybe no one told you and it's it's a song that i wrote um it's on my album actually no it's not sorry it's not on my album but it's gonna be on my album that's coming out soon um but you can find it online it's called maybe no one told you and it's a song that I wrote to, to remind everybody that maybe no one told you you're amazing, but you are. And that's how it goes. Maybe no one's ever told you you're amazing, but I just stayed. No matter what anyone says about you, I'm still positive. It doesn't make a difference what you look like I only see what's true inside You don't gotta tell me how you feel today Cause I see it in your eyes And who do Take advantage the next time you get That golden moment To go up with your friend and say I, I believe in you Don't forget how much you mean, you're so special and unique. I oh, I believe in you. We're a smile on your face, you can never be replaced. You can never be replaced. And maybe no one's ever told you that you need it, but I will now. Got to one look around the whole world and decided he needed you around. Just remember that you've got this, cause he made you for a purpose. So let's all go and hype each other up. Everyone that you know can use a little love. And ooh, 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 ooh. take advantage the next time you get that golden moment to go up with your friend and say, I. Don't forget how much you mean, you're so special and unique. I, oh, I believe in you. With a smile on your face, you can never be replaced. You can never be replaced. Your life is not determined by someone's inability to see your greatness. To see your beauty and I'm certain you were handmade Perfectly to fulfill the things that only you can do Believe it and you will, there'll never be another you So believe in yourself and say and tell all your friends I, oh I believe in you Don't forget how much you mean, you're so special and unique. I, oh, I believe in you. We're a smile on your face. You can never be replaced. You can never be replaced. Can't tell if you hear me, but if you hear me, Thanks for listening. We hear you. That was so nice. And that was an original song. Yeah. I mean, it's somewhat original. Like, you know, I don't, yeah, it comes to me and then I sing it, you know, it's not like I, uh, I don't, I have like a process of like 
writing. Either it comes or it doesn't. You know? I can have days where I write music and months where I don't. You know, it just comes. <laughs> so when when we could go on our Shabbatons again, maybe uh, Naftali will be singing for us all of Shabbat. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's really it's really um a big honor to be to be part of this, and you have no idea like um you know like uh, sometimes like inspiration, whatever the word inspiration even means. I'm still having a hard time trying to figure out what the word means, but whatever the word means, you know, this, like, like it's the same concept as when a person gives to somebody. So the definition of giving, you know, means that you're giving to somebody. You're giving something to somebody. I mean, there has to be some type of recipient. There has to be a receiver when you give. Otherwise, you can't give. So it's like, I could give charity, but until I have a poor person to receive it, you know, until I have a poor person to receive it, I'm not able to give. I could have, you know, billions and billions of dollars, but I can't fulfill charity unless I have a person coming to receive it. So it's like, when you think about it like that, who's doing who the bigger favor? So like, you know, like when it comes to like being part of anything and if I'm playing music and singing and people are listening, it's not like I'm giving. It's, it's more like, I don't know who's doing who the bigger favor, but it's not, you know, for me, it's like, I can't do this without people being on the other side. So you should just know that for me, this is my greatest pleasure ever. So I'm just telling you that um, that's, that's how I feel right now. So thank you so much for letting me be part of it. Um, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, you're gonna play us another song? Maybe, let's find out, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this song is called um, Waves of Faith. And um, this song is really about a million different things. So every day when I talk about it, when I sing it in different places, I give a different description because it changes on the day. But, but right now what I'm feeling is, this song is Waves of Faith is, it's a song that literally encapsulates my whole life the way it was. And is that, you know, as, as, as people that believe in God, as people that believe in, in Hashem, we believe that he's capable of things that we don't even know are possible. He's incapable of performing the greatest miracles ever. And you now we all go through hardships in life and struggles and things that are not easy. And we know that we don't get to control what's going on, but we always control how we respond, right? And, and part of responding to life circumstances in a positive way is believing that the same one that put us in any situation is the same one that will take us out of the situation. And, you know, I wrote this song when I had hard times in my life that reminds us that, that um, anything that's going on can be changed in the blink of an eye if you have faith. Because faith means I believe that anything can change in the blink of an eye. And imagine if you're you know, on a boat in the water in the oceans and, like, you're drowning. But if we believe that God can do the extraordinary things, not just ordinary things, that means he could even, I believe so much that he's capable of doing anything that I could even walk on water. And um, you know, the highest level of faith is believing that God can do anything. So here's the song. I'm gonna jump out of this boat and walk on the water. You're thinking of so much, these waves, they make you stronger. It doesn't come for free, but if you work hard on your faith, I promise you'll see that you'll be feeling so much better. Feels like you're walking on the water. I remember a vision when I was on the gusty sea. My boat was flooding up fast. I couldn't see a thing. I needed superhuman forces of energy to laser. I'm fighting gravity. There's not a chance that I could. You must think that I was drowning. See you back with that, with that, that. Say, don't give up hope. 
I made this world and I need you more than you know. Don't listen to what the negatives say. I'm the one controlling the ways. No one knows what is the best for you. They haven't got a clue what you're going through. But you take it me and I'll be there even if you're in the treasure. It's tight that you don't know how to swim. I'm gonna jump out of this boat and walk on the water. I share my need you love to be up even higher. It doesn't matter. Survivor. 
I'm fighting for my belief for you, I said. I'll go all in for everything. Cause this is why I'm fighting. This is me complete. And I'll walk the unknown. If that's what's meant to be, I'll give up all my comfort. Cause I know you'll come for me, for you, Hashem. I'll go all in for everything. Cause this is why I'm fighting. And this is me. Sometimes in my tears I drown. But it never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around. Because my life I've been waiting for, I've been praying for, for the people to say it, yeah, that we don't want to fight no more, there'll be no more wars, and our children will pray, yeah. one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. It's not about win or lose, cause we all lose when they feed on souls on the innocent blood drench, baby. Keep on moving, though the water stay raging. In this maze, you can lose your way, your way. It might drive you crazy, but don't let it phase you, no way, no way. Sometimes in my tears, I drown. But I never let it get me down So a negativity surrounds I know someday it'll all turn around Because all my life I've been waiting for I've been waiting for For the people to say yeah. Now we don't want to fight no more There'll be no wars And our children will pray One day, one day, one day one day, one day, one day, one day, while walking down life's path and singing out life songs, I'm singing to myself, Liman Shemo. Liman Shemo, Oi Liman Shemo, Hakato, Hakiba, Vehana, Oi Liman Shemo, Ahava. While living my life in this world that's called home, the more that I possess, the less that I own, and I recall a world with a glimmer of hope, of a purpose beyond everything that I've known. While walking down life's path, and I'm singing now life's songs, I'm singing to myself, in my shame Amazing, Nepali, that was great. Wow, okay, wow. Guys, everyone's blown away. I'm getting like so much beautiful, positive feedback. I'm like dancing in my- Yeah. Okay. I'm making baratas for my husband. This is fabulous. Okay, guys, maybe Nepali, one more. Could we do like a, what's like a good Jewish song that everybody's gonna get into? Yes. Yes. I'm sure everybody knows this. And if you know it, sing along, but- you know, I love this song because it's so simple. Everybody knows it. You get like when you hear it, like the meaning of it becomes clear. 
And now, Tali, before you sing, can you let everybody know how to find you on social media? Because everybody wants to follow you. Are you on Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud? Uh, Are you single? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> First, okay, so I'll, we'll go in order of everything mentioned. You can find me at Naftali Gulato pretty much everywhere. All my music's available on YouTube and Spotify and wherever music is. Um, I put out many, a lot of music, so it's on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever. I'm putting out a new album hopefully in the next month, actually. Um, my other album is called Waves of Faith. And pretty much, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on wherever you think. There's places to follow. That's where I am. Um, yeah. And whoever asks if I'm single, we're single like a Pringle. Okay. You know, this song is called Ibdu as Hashem Simcha. And part of what we do at Rage, I think, could be someone else's different idea, but part of what I do in Rage is like trying to find meaning and and purpose in our lives and trying to become the best version of ourselves. And uh, we know that meaning and purpose brings happiness. And part of our job in serving God and doing what he wants from us is not necessarily because it's good because we want it. It's more like, no, we're doing it because because God wants I don't want to be healed because I want to be healed. I want to be healed because God wants me to be healed. That's a higher level of being loved, being loving, loving what the lover wants. And we do that with joy because there's no greater feeling in the world knowing that you're serving somebody that loves you so, 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 so much more than you'll ever know. <laughs> Do a session, Miss Sukai, do a session, Miss Sukaba, Ulubana, Mirna, not a fan of Mirna. Do a session, Miss Sukai, do a session, Miss Sukaba, Ulubana, Mirna, not a fan of Mirna. Do a session, Miss Sukai, did it, I 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 did thing is that first of all right i already said so i'll just repeat myself i'm so honored to be part of this so honored to be part of this. and um okay everybody mute again and um i want to give a special thank you to all those who coordinate this whole thing i definitely don't i'm just one of the people that take so 
all everyone that makes this whole thing possible. Um, you know, more I, I can't I would give a round of applause, but it doesn't even come close to what the things that I have and the uh, and uh, the gratitude that I have. So from the not from the top and not from the bottom, but from the depths of my heart, I want to thank the rabbi for, for doing an amazing job for everything and Rebecca for always coordinating everything and Shandy for chasing me because sometimes I'm <laughs> I'm not so responsive. <laughs> so she gets a lot of credit because um, if not for the thousand of texts that she sent me, I probably would not have been here. Not because I didn't want to, just because like, you know, phone responding is so much, you know? <laughs> so, so thank you. May we all be blessed to reach, to wake up tomorrow to nothing but joy and goodness in a revealed manner. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, Natalie. If you want to stick around, please. I think we're going to go to our next part of our program. We're going to move right along. Um, Rabbi G. Take it. Right. Let's, uh, we're going to stop that. And hold on, let me turn off the Facebook. Oh my God, this was on Facebook. <laughs>